So Ryan, my final question for you is in terms of staying positive while job searching, we know that finding a job is a full-time job and it's not always in front of the computer. You need to network, you need to go out, enjoy nature, take times off, have a coffee with friends and maybe celebrate small wins. But other than that, do you have any other tips on how people can be happier or stay positive while the job search is going on? Yeah, to stay positive is important, first of all, because, sorry, I know I'm kind of going back a little bit, but um, the research shows that you're 31% smarter, more more better at problem solving, more creative, etc. when you're in a positive frame of mind. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it's also important to know, I mean, it's a belief that I subscribe to is that positivity is a choice, yeah. right? Things happen around you, but you can choose how you react to them. How to respond, yes. It, it, yes, exactly. It takes some time. Sometimes some people are uh, threat to, you know, something bad happens, you're going to have your first reaction, but you can always cho choose to override that. Yeah. And given the fact now that hopefully I shared this with you and you know that you're 31% better off, choose positivity. Mm -hmm. um, so that's number one. So to choose to be positive. Uh, like you said, there's a lot of like little tips and strategies, like you said, exercise, see friends, all those types of things. But at the end of the day, I think it, it comes down to you have to learn about yourself. And because if you're putting, if you're applying for positions mm -hmm. and if you're going through the process and you're coming up empty, you're falling short a, a few times, it can be defeating and there, it might be just coincidence, right? It's possible. And, but it also might be that you're not aligning your real skill set and your passion is not coming through in those calls or in those interviews because you're, you're slightly um, amiss. Yeah. You're, <clears throat> excuse me, slightly off offset. So it's worthwhile to really, you know, as I said, reflect on yourself and think about what do I want to do? What am I good at? Where's my skill set lie? And then how do I map that? What are the positions I should be looking for that I can really add a lot of value and become an invested, passionate member of the team? Yeah. Uh, some of my friends, Kevin has a gratitude journal. Every morning you wake up and you identify three things you're grateful Another uh, author by Mel Robbins, she, she has the uh, uh, book five, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then you get up out of the bed and other books that, that also helps and navigate this journey of life, which is sometimes up, sometimes down, but it's, as you mentioned, how do you react in bad times and how you present yourself? That's the key. Absolutely. I mean, you're always in control. Remember that you can choose to be positive yeah and with that note my interview with you comes to an end ryan again thank you for taking the time to ask you this few questions it's very practical direct so i recommend everyone to watch all the videos previously posted and tune in next time for other great guests i'm preparing you guys again ryan thank you very much and have a great day bye everyone take care